Hi hey guys, Mr. Ballion here. This is for my grade 10s. Um, this could be for 11s and 12s in the future as well. It's about two-point perspectives and additional clarification. And I'm going to just review the issue people are having, and it's perfectly normal. And I'm just going to just show you guys how you can add the columns to your, to your uh, city block. Uh, design you guys created which are just really fantastic examples okay I'm not mentioning any students but I will review two drawings one of which is this one and the other one's this and unfortunately I masked it here I locked it but uh, you can still see um, my lines there shouldn't have been any lines on this on this layer but doesn't matter this is what I want to really focus on this uh, lesson right here which I'll go over again at two o'clock during our synchronous meeting okay all right so here it is I see student one right here okay and I'm looking at these columns and they're awesome they're fantastic and I'm gonna just suggest improvements okay so this is the look for as I was talking about earlier and this is how you get a four plus if you really wanted a mark okay so everything here is awesome so I'll just come in here with my layer and I'll say look outstanding work here I'm going to come in with this uh, brush here. I'm going to crank this up and I'm going to go with really bright here. Okay, everything is going to the vanishing point. Beautiful, okay? Like I said to you guys, three three types of lines. Vertical, that is perpendicular to the horizon line. All these lines are, perp uh, are per perpendicular to the horizon line. Beautiful. Second, wherever this line starts and ends has to go to either vanishing point. They have to go to both, really. So if I had a vanishing point there, it goes boom, and so on, and so on, and so on, okay? So that's the idea. And then this one goes to the other direction. So that's the goal, okay? So let's look a little closer here at the column, all right? Well, let's see what I can do here. Right, okay, so if I'm just going to just draw over it free-handed, okay? Um, points to consider right here, right here, right here, and here is what I'm looking for, okay, guys? Look. Um, here, here, there, like that. So these are the points that really pop this drawing and elevate your technical knowledge and creative ability to communicate these beautiful ideas that you guys have created. I'm proud of everybody. Grade 10, look out architecture students in university because you guys are rocking what they're doing in first year, okay? This is just knowledge that could be applied anywhere, all right? So um, what I did is I, I created a layer and I and I did my best to find the horizon line So I'll just go over it with you guys right now and I'll do my best and it's gonna be a little off. That's okay But the idea remains the same. Okay, so I'll just go something like this and what I usually do is I come in here and I try to find um, The vanishing points accordingly. Okay, so what I do is I go over your line work and I'm trying to find it Okay, so I'm just gonna go up here. I'm gonna put two points here and roughly over here like that these two edges and then that says to me here this is one and I'll try to find another one oops <laughs> okay so here I'll just what happened oops redo redo beautiful yes and then now I'll just position this one here I need a few more lines to figure out where your vanishing points are so I just go over and find another one and I'll just go something like this and I'll say yeah it's here right there see how beautiful that is this is all going to the vanishing point okay right here beauty okay outstanding so <laughs> okay now um, check this out you see this line this is interesting right however what you're finding here and this is very important to understand what's happening in this in this assignment and activity right now there's no tangent here they're, they're kind of like flat they're very 2d now to make it two a two and a half d or two point perspective this needs to pop out see how nice that is here this is nice oops i gotta get out of that thank you i'll just like see here there's a tangent that pops out down here nothing so in reality let's try to solve from the corner first okay it's easier for me just to do this for you guys right now watch i'll go to the vanishing point and I'll say, remember this point I said to you guys? Watch this. Out. See? That needs to come out, right? The column needs to come out of that wall because right now it's like a drawing. It's a, it's a graffiti painting. All right, so let's try this one. There's that point. 
out it goes and so on I'll stop right over here boom okay so now the, the I'll just come to the other side just for a second so you guys see that I'm gonna get the vanishing point on this side as well so I'm just gonna pick a spot here and I'll just take something up here and I'll say yeah not bad right in here boom there and I'll pick another line somewhere over here and just to double check where your uh, vanishing point is beautiful I have it right here so right all right so I have two vanishing points I'm good to go here let's go with different colors now I really wanted a good fuchsia because that pops on the drawings okay so remember the corner the corner is critical so what's happening is you are trying to visualize a corner of a building obviously we're not out there right now and what cannot happen is this okay so if this is the corner okay I'm really gonna make this big watch if this is the corner of my building okay and the columns are here all right the because this comes out of the building I cannot continue the same line across because now it's flat it's basically graffiti so the way to get around it ideally it's this right here this one I'm drawing backwards so and then what you do is you erase here and you'll see now this this actually pops your drawing actually pops see there's that tangent I'm talking about right here here if it all continues it's graffiti it's uh, it's basically painting somebody's work right look now if I have that surface here and that and so on it's popping out that is the goal for everybody to do okay so we're almost there so watch how I'm gonna show you this right now I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna work on this corner another thing I said to you guys it's very important let me double check the time seven minutes sweet is that this line here and the column where am I why isn't this working oh because I'm an eraser that's why okay this line and the column line cannot be the same okay because there's depth if if it was do you get what I mean like if, if I have my arm is protruding out so I can't have this at the same line it goes out basically good luck understanding that I'm doing my best here okay guys so watch what I'm gonna do in the corner all right I'm gonna pick right here just an offset okay so there it is I'm starting here okay so there's a difference between that line and this one sweet and as you guys know top point bottom point of a line has to go to both directions no matter what I'm doing doesn't matter if it's a column a balcony um, indentation whatever so there's my two points and what I asked you guys all of you is to make sure the columns come up columns come up right here see not the same line guys look bring them up make them taller okay so this one already is above this line see beautiful and it's above that line sweet let's go with that all right here we go get our get our um, let's set up our vanishing points let's uh, not set up like let's just work from it okay here we go so this one look how cool this is look 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 right now these other ones are perfect like down here one two three these are perfect right here so what I'm gonna do but this one here was a little, little cut short so look one it's gonna just extend that line out okay and I'll go to the other side really easy one here vanishing point and connect to that edge remember what I said the top point of a line must go both directions okay let's do this here it is and I'm, I'm definitely going over this in in our synchronous class today okay so don't worry about it this is this is just to give you uh, another heads up here okay so look at that that is sweet right so now if this is the bottom what does that mean same idea got to go back to the right and to the left let's do this so here I already have this one selected so watch how cool this is right here boom hit right there go to vanishing point on the right and find the bottom edge of that line okay this is a best guess which is sweet look guys as long as it is going beyond that that building that wraps around you are in success okay so now I'm just gonna take what you have here look this line right here hold shift and I'm gonna go boom I have this line for you and look how sweet this is right now it is wrapping around that two building structure the two pieces okay it's beautiful here's why 
let's lower the opacity or change the value. Watch this now. Look at this bump here, right here, in here. And I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to go like that. And I'll go to the other side. So you will see that now it's not a continuous line of vertical action happening. There's some indentation, protrusions, okay? That is gold right here. Look at this. You already have it in there. Beautiful. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Right there. See? Sweetness. I'll just do the top as well, okay? So I'll just come over here, and I'll add this right here done. I'll go to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to show, I did this and I've sent this to the two students. They each have these notes, but I wanted to make it clear for everyone because this is, this is something we need to, we need to understand. And when we do, it's good forever. Okay. It stays with you in my opinion. Okay. I'm sticking to it. All right. So let's erase, clean up a bit and figure out what's happening. Okay. So I'm going to go back to that color holding option and I'm gonna go in here maybe there next time I'm just gonna make nice patches here like that okay back to my line work sweet I'm just gonna okay I'm gonna take this what, what am I doing here let's do erase let's keep our lives simple first okay first off that's an erase so look what I'm doing here guys so you see before how everything was lined up here now we're punching out there here punching out Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to go a little bit right here like that. See how nice that is? That high and low, right? You, bye-bye. Make that thicker. Look how nice that is. So now we've got, and, and, and you guys know, my, my method and my style is always shoot beyond the lines, okay? Just, and then when you're comfortable, erase. When you know what's going on roughly, this is approximation here. Sweet, this is working, good. And look at this difference here, right here. Okay, so I'll just I'll just go I'll just continue here so for the sake of time so because this top line goes there this guy this one here needs to hit it right here this column right this part of the column look up and down right here the edge remember the edge guys the outside edge not the inside edge okay and I'll explain why in a second so this now is a top point watch I'm gonna make a dot here this is the top of my line. This is the bottom of my line. I have two options, left and right. I got to use both, okay? So check it out. Here we go. And we'll be done. Whew. All right, let's do this. Go from here. Always start your ruler at your vanishing point and array out, okay? Just, just fan out wherever you want to go. So where do I want to go? I want to go to that spot that I put in. Look, bingo right here and where's the bottom oh down here let's not let's knock this one in place ready one two three it's here mm, a little little higher good enough okay there sweet now that this it's going to the vanishing point there's a framework to work from look right here the two connect all I have to do now is just go like this see this surface is beautiful okay now you had one here, so I'm just going to go over it like this. Look at this. You're working within the frame right there. Look, right here. Bingo. Look at that. Whew. Okay, I lost my, my line. I should go back. No worries. Right here. Yeah, vanishing point. Okay. Roughly. Oh, I'm using the eraser. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, roughly like that. And this one here. I'm just going to outline it for you guys and see here. All right, I'm going to demo this, guys. Don't worry. And the idea is to watch this numerous times, as many times as you need. That's why it's recorded. And then this, to me, even when I first started, I had to think about it way back in the day when I was at OCAD in the environmental design program. Actually, I learned this at Ryerson first in the architecture program there by Martin Tamianko. What a cool guy he was. He was a rendering instructor and architecture studio um, teacher. And he was the one who taught us how to create these huge buildings in painting. We painted them too. Um, anyway, markers, pencil crayons, and watercolor. It was awesome. So here it is. Memory of Martin Tamianko. Great guy. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to hit it there. and I'm going to come over here. I'm just outlining things so you guys can see this, okay? So look, right here, done, okay? Now I'm just gonna go to the ver verticals, 
Remember, everything is perpendicular. Any vertical line has to be perpendicular to the vanishing point. Otherwise, it's a three-point perspective. All right, almost done here. This one's gone. I'm just going to add some color here, and I'll show you another one I did for another student as well. I'm only going to do these two columns here. Okay, so quickly, look how nice that is compared to before. You see how before it was kind of lost here? Let's use this color here, and I'm going to use this soft brush here, and I'm going to crank it up and reduce the opacity even more okay so see here before everything was in here like this okay nothing was sticking out technically this comes out that goes out and now you have a bump you have that beautiful piece that sticks out in architecture okay so that's nice all right so bye bye to this guy here okay enough i'll, I'll just gonna do the color and move on here guys okay here we go i'll take my um I'll do the, the background and I'll just select them using the uh, lasso tool. And remember, this application is free and I'm just, nobody needs to be using software. This, I prefer you guys to learn on paper first. And then when you're ready, when you're comfortable, you understand, use the software to push yourself. That's not necessary for anyone, but here it is. You can just do all this on paper. That's the beauty of it, okay? So I'm just going to go Command Z. I'm going to make a new layer because I want to reduce the opacity on this so you guys can see things behind it, okay? So there it is. Look at that right there. Command D. Sweet. Now we'll do these surfaces here. Ready? Let's go. One. And I'm definitely using a different color right now. Double click. We'll go in the orange zone. Here we go. Somewhere here. And I'm going to say whatever. It doesn't matter which side. Boom, right there, Command D. And now watch, I'll do the same thing on this side right here. One, two, three, double click, bring my bucket, Command D, and then I'll do the other side as well, and we're done. Okay, so this is to me, guys, this is fun um, because <laughs> you're, you're constantly learning, right? And improving, we're growing, and this is an awesome, awesome technique. I work part time for uh, rendering uh, Mark McCann was it when I was an architect when I was at Ryerson and we did two-point perspective uh, technical drawings of houses and I was employed part-time when I was in second year architecture how cool is that so this goes you can get jobs on the side doing stuff like this okay so okay here it is look how sweet that looks see okay surface boom punch in how nice is that you can do the same thing on this side right here and I'm definitely going to stop now. Watch. Here's the last one. One, two, three, double click. Here. I for this color. And then I don't know if that's going to work. Command D. Yes. <laughs> okay. So look how sweet that is. Okay. That's the improvement I'm looking for. And this is a four plus. You've got all these beautiful vanishing points you got multiple buildings you have things protruding out you have balconies wrapping around what else can a guy ask for okay now you got the colonnade out here right and the colonnade is working so i'll say thank you to this one we'll go to the other one and i'll just showcase that one just quickly and i did the same thing okay so here it is same thing boom 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 there it is right here same idea okay look how cool that is that's it this is what i'm asking for guys and you can come in here and I can just punch in the sides here, just in green, okay? So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to do these ones, and we call it C2, and we're done. Here's my bucket. Punch. And I'll do the other side here. Okay. One, two, three. Double click. Bring the bucket. Four. Command D. Look at that. Look, look how nice that's that's the, the like there's there's repetition there's also depth guys it's not flat i know this is a tough one to learn but if you watch this you can't go wrong remember these bottom points have to go out and in so there it is done how many minutes was this 1928 i've got another 30 seconds i hope this works for you guys i'm definitely going to go over this uh, today at uh, two o'clock my grade 10s this is good for grade 12s with the futuristic uh, uh what am i saying with my uh, grade 12 cities that we're creating as well uh with oliver twist uh we're creating our own village with steampunk these principles can be applied in that grade too so you see 
this knowledge stays with you to all your grades and beyond school. I love stuff like this. I hope you're enjoying it. Looking forward to seeing you guys later at 2. Bye-bye. Ballion out. See ya. Stop recording. Woohoo!